Hey what's good, it's your boy Matthew Michael and today's video is going to be a little bit different. Today I'm going to talk about my financial journey, how exactly I got here on YouTube and how I even got into investing and trading options. So so yeah, if you're interested in seeing that, hey be sure to smash the like button. And if you're not, I completely understand, that's not why you subscribe to me. But uh, yeah, I'll, I'll still see you next week. But without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so in this video, if you see me looking down, it's because I'm looking down at my notes because I want to stay on track. I don't want to hop around too much. I want to make sure I tell you everything about this journey that I've been on. Okay, so to start with, it all began in August of 2017. I had just started nursing school. Uh, I was in a completely different world. Getting into nursing school has been not one of the hardest things I've ever done, but it's been one of the most, I guess, prestigious things I've done in my life. Everyone around me was so proud of me. It felt good having everyone proud of me, especially my parents and everything. But after I got into nursing school, I found myself not really enjoying it. The classes were three hours long. I didn't really have too many friends. I had like two friends and I know that's not what it's about, but really honestly, I didn't really enjoy anything we were doing in there either. I remember all my classmates would get excited about growth things, cuts, lesions, and gross things that go on in the hospital. And I was disgusted by them. But anyways, I just thought I still want to be a nurse. I'm just not excited by these things that excite all these other nurse people. The first few weeks of nursing school go on. We have all our tests. We have probably like five tests over the span of a few days and I fail every single one of them. And up to this point with school, I never had any difficult with school at all, but nursing school was a whole nother animal. Needless to say, fast forward, the semester didn't go well. I got held back in one class, so I ended up having to repeat. But also during this time, I was experiencing, nursing school was the only time in my life I've ever experienced anxiety. It was the one time in my life that I didn't feel in control. So I kind of lost who I was in nursing school. Before nursing school, I never cared about anything. I always looked on the bright side and always told myself it'd get better. Once I got in nursing school, it's like I wasn't in control of my life because I was working to be a nurse. But in order for me to be a nurse, I needed to pass nursing school and pass the class and, and pass the test after nursing school. I really didn't enjoy that my life was in the hands of a test. And after that semester ended, I went home for the break. My parents knew, of course, I got held back in one class, but it definitely felt good being back home and not have to do any nursing things. Over the break while I was at home, I didn't really spend too much time hanging out with my friends. That break, all I did was work. Worked at Whataburger and put up bread at grocery stores. And the thing about college breaks is they're a lot longer than your high school winter break. Uh, high school winter breaks, like two weeks. College, you get like a month and a half. So that was a decent amount of time to make some money. So made a little money. And during that break, I decided I wanted to start reading. So I went into my dad's office and I picked up a book. It was called Secrets of the Millionaire Mind. It was a book about wealth habits. And the main idea was wealth is not a dollar amount. It's more of a mindset. The book focused on teaching a lot of affirmations. I remember throughout the time of reading the book that it had me touch my head a lot and say I have a millionaire mind and I didn't really think too much of it then but I just remember telling myself if touching my head and saying I have a millionaire mind is going to make me a millionaire I'll do it every day I'm going to be a millionaire I have a millionaire mind me reading this book is December 2017 just for time reference okay so we're still on that break and now it's January and I want another book like this. I couldn't get enough. Uh, I, I really wanted to dive into this world of financial education. I wanted to take in more to get myself thinking like this. So in this time, I'm also looking up videos on YouTube. I find YouTubers like Jeff Rose, YouTubers like financial education, YouTubers like Ryan Scribner. I begin watching all their videos, consuming all the content and just start learning about the ways of wealth and truly being fascinated, truly taking interest. It's, it's amazing. And with that, I heard them talk about Rich Dad, Poor Dad. So I figured, why not? I ordered the book off Amazon. I read the book through. And after I read this book, I realized I don't want to work for the rest of my life. And in the book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, for those of you who haven't read it, he basically puts life into a simple equation. So basically, you have your assets are the things which put money in your pocket. So like dividends and, you know, rental income. And, you know, if you have passive income like courses and things like that and then you have your liabilities with things that take money out of your pocket like paying rent 
things like paying car loans, things like groceries, things like that. And if you can get your assets to exceed your liabilities, you're free. You don't have to work, especially if it's passive income, because you can work 40 hours a week, asset to an extent, but it's not passive. I learned through passive income, and that is how you get rich and make your money work for you. After this, I continue to watch YouTube videos and just learn and learn and learn. Now it's late January 2018. I'm back in nursing school. I'm just taking one course at the time, actually two courses. Uh, I had to take a remediation course and that course that I had to retake. So I'm in nursing school taking those two courses. I have plenty of time to focus on finance things and do my nursing stuff. So that semester wasn't too much of a struggle, kind of a setback. I was sad that I was held back behind some of my friends, but I wasn't the only one held back. Nursing school is hard. A lot of other people got held back too. So I still had some friends with me, but that's not really what it was about. I had all this extra time. That's when I really began to watch Financial Education Jeremy and Rule One Investing, those two channels really helped me out with learning the basics of fundamental analysis in the stock market. I remember one of them said to, I think it was Rule One Investing, he said to write down a list of all the companies you like, write down the prices that you would like to buy them at, and just wait until they hit that price. So after I did that, I made a list, I waited for those prices to come. The prices came, I didn't really have money that I was ready to invest, because when I first started watching stocks, $80 for a stock seemed kind of high for me. But I continued to watch the way they invest and everything, and learned that the sooner you start, the better, basically. So uh, yeah, we're, we're through with that semester of nursing school. I'm still learning about this. I'm still watching the stocks at the prices. They're still hovering around those prices. So I'm chilling at the moment. It's summertime. I get to go back home. I get to work. I was working at Whataburger again and I was working, putting up bread again. So basically all I did over the summer was work. Uh, not too much time spent with friends, just work and getting to stay with my parents and stay at home and not really do anything over the summer. I was golden. By the end of the summer, I had saved up a little over $5,000 and this was a nice little uh, nest egg for me, I guess. That was the most I had ever saved up at that point in my life, so it was great. I was really proud of myself. What did I do to reward myself? I spent about $2,000 buying my girlfriend and I. I paid like $2,000 for us to go out and vacation to LA. I bought it over the summer, but I bought it for November. So all that time we had something to look forward to for the semester. But anyways, we're back in school. School started and everything and not immediately in the semester, but a couple weeks into the semester, I'm not enjoying it, but there's no real struggles. I'm passing my test and everything. So it's not really a big issue, but in nursing school there are these things called F days. You could have forgot to wear your name badge. You could have messed up on one little thing like if you're supposed to be doing a skill you could mess up on one thing you get an F day and you could turn in your homework late. So things like that you'll get an F day. Three F days in one semester. Three F days in one semester. That's it for the semester you're done. So I got those F days. I was done with that semester. That was my last semester of nursing school and I remember when I found out I got that third F day, I had already been thinking for about two weeks that maybe nursing wasn't for me. So really it was like a weight was lifted off my shoulders. Huge blessing in disguise. It was then the Lord really began to work on me. Okay, so this point it is, it's October 2018. I finally downloaded Robinhood and I'm pretty sure the first stock I bought was a few shares of Snapchat. It was trading at about $5 at that time. I held it for a few weeks. It didn't do anything but go down and I just sold it and I took a loss on it. I feel like many people can relate to buying something early on and selling it for a lower price, but but if not, maybe it's just me. Let me know down below in the comments if you relate to any of this. I, I love to relate to y'all. But uh, yeah, started the portfolio. I had initially only funded it with $200 because I didn't want to jump in too fast. So yeah, funded it with $200 and then I still had that list of stocks I wanted to buy when they hit those prices. The prices had gone up since. So then towards the end of October, the prices went way down. So I started putting more money into the market and I just started buying. I was like, I'm going to get rich. I bought the companies for good prices and then October they started going up a little bit, but then they went down even more. Then at the end of December, they went way down. So at the end of December, I bought so many stocks. I was buying Apple, I was buying Skyworks, I was buying Nike. I bought them all at great prices. I really hate saying this, but if I would have held everything I had my portfolio, would be five figures right now. 
but as life goes on you live and you learn and really that's what life's all about so december closed out and then came january and my portfolio it was up higher than i've ever seen it was beautiful at this point in time i had signed up for robin hood gold because all the stocks were still at really low prices so i was like let me use a thousand dollars of margin and buy dividend stocks because looking at the charts in the past few years i hadn't seen the stock prices that low and to this day they haven't gone lower but i was like let me buy a thousand dollars in stocks that pay dividends Robinhood Gold costs $5 a month and these dividends will pay more than that. So it was working, it was working. But then I got kind of impatient and then I got a notification on Robinhood saying that they have options and that I could trade them if I wanted to. And I had remember when I was watching one of financial education's videos that he said never to trade options. He said they can make you a lot of money and they can lose you a lot of money. So I was like, hmm, I'm interested. I remember getting on YouTube and seeing this video of this one dude and in that previous month that the market had dipped and came back up he made twenty thousand dollars trading options and he started with just two thousand dollars so me with my account of three thousand dollars i was like whoa so then i went and really tried to figure out what options was looking back at financial education i found one of his older videos where he spoke about options and how they work a little bit it wasn't the most descriptive video so i listened to what he said and then i said i get what it's about for the most part so then I took about $300 and I tried to find an option myself. And what I did was I bought an Apple call. I think it was around when Apple was trading at 140. I bought a call for a month out for $10 higher. So I think it was a 150 call or a 160 call, whatever it was, it was $10 higher. I bought two and it cost about $300. I kept watching the price of my portfolio go up and down and my eyes were so big because it was something that I've never seen before. It was just so crazy that i was like is this money all mine i really couldn't grasp i i felt like i was doing something illegal <laughs> i i just remember thinking i was doing something illegal i was like making money shouldn't be this easy is this all mine i remember i indirectly asked my dad about trading options because i knew he traded in the stock market too and he couldn't completely answer my question because my dad was used to a different side of options my dad has always been in control of his options and on the option side that i was on i wasn't in control but i still benefited he couldn't really answer my question exactly so there was actually a point i could have took profits for way higher but i let it expire where robin hood sold it out and i took 2400 dollars profit off that apple trade so then it was from that moment i was hooked on options oh and just to run back a couple months when i made this trade it was february 2019 backtrack a couple of months in november of 2018 i had just dropped out of nursing school and i decided i was going to make a youtube channel didn't know what it was about but i had saw something by i believe it was gary v saying that if you focus on one thing for two years it will build you an audience it will bring you income and you'll be a master at it i'd always wanted to do youtube but when i was younger i cared too much about what my friends thought and now that I dropped at a nursing school to me at the time there was no lower low so I just didn't care what anyone thought so I began putting out videos on YouTube my first one was a vlog uh, it was so terrible it's still on my channel if you want to see it and then the next few weeks I just started putting out random videos and, and now coming back to where we were around this time in February, after I made the money for the options trade, I said, hey, I'm gonna talk about this. So I started talking about Robin Hood. I was like, hey, let me try to do some tutorial videos. And they weren't really doing too much. I was just like, hey, let me try to do this and then maybe I can put my link here and get people to sign up and get free money off YouTube. So from there, I was starting to monetize my channel, but one thing I didn't think about is in order for me to get people to click on my link, I have to get people to watch the channel so it was then that i really started having fun with youtube i started learning things like seo and how to drive traffic to my channel at this point in time i had 30 subscribers on youtube and then it was the next month in march that i i made the video about how i make 50 to 100 dollars a day trading options on robin hood and it is still my best video to this day i want to remake it in the future but i'm just not there yet and and i wasn't trying to be tricky in that video up to that point that was my experience with options i did not have any bad experiences with options then but yeah it was it was amazing so yeah we're in march we're in march of 2019 it's going good forgot to say but 
As of December of 2018, financially I'm on my own. My parents stopped paying for everything and I wasn't working. So that money I had saved up, it was draining real fast and the rest of it was in the stock market. So I was beginning to have a hard time getting by, getting gas and going places. But uh, we managed and then you know just making videos and then I think it was in April I made a trade on Tesla and I just blew up my account my whole portfolio I blew it up I sold my stocks to cover it because I had a margin call because some of the stocks I held in the account was uh I bought another contract with margin to average down but Tesla never bounced it just kept going down so I just I just lost it and I my account blew up so just like that all my money's gone and now I'm just trying to figure out what to do. It was almost like my channel died just as soon as I started getting subscribers and it's kind of crazy to think that my portfolio was the basis of my channel. So in that point in time, I got real creative and I, I thought, how can I revive my portfolio? So I kept trying to do the things that used to work for me, but my 50 to $100 a day, but it stopped working because I got marked as a pattern day trader. And mentally, I just wasn't ready for it because when I couldn't day trade, I couldn't take profits quickly and this really caused me to lose. Uh, one day a stock would be going up, it would be great at market close, but then the next day it would open down and I, I hadn't really built up the patience for options to sit there and be self-controlled. So yeah, I had, a, had about like $500 left and I kept trying to trade even when I couldn't day trade and yeah, I ended up trading away all my money. So now it's summertime and my girlfriend's not American, so in order for her to stay over the summer she had to get an internship and we had to live off the lake and pay for an apartment so I told y'all at this point in time I'm already on my own financially and I'm already paying rent where I'm staying okay but in order for her to stay in America over the summer I also had to hop on and stay with her and pay rent where she was we were living off the lake so the lake so that definitely was not cheap and I was paying double rent because I had to finish off my lease it would have cost more to get somebody to take my lease over so I just paid it off and after that first month of paying two rents all my money was gone all of it was wiped out I then began having to use my credit card for everything so on came the credit card debt one good thing is where my girlfriend and I were staying I got a job at Walmart but it wasn't anywhere near as much income as I would have made if I would have went home for the summer and I didn't even get a full 40 hours every week at Walmart so while working at Walmart helped to lighten the blow I was still taking hits every meal every time I had to drive every time I had to go to the store and get groceries it was really hurting financially but nevertheless I kept telling myself it would get better I just had to make it through I continued to put out videos and then I came up with the idea of the 52 week options challenge because really I did that because I didn't want to put more than $50 in my account I needed my money I, I really had to get creative with the video ideas and on top of all this the lake house we were staying at was built I don't know how long ago it was designed so weird uh, but the AC was not working. It was so hot. If you have ever been to Texas in the summer, you know what I'm talking about. But no AC in Texas in the summer. I had a hard time sleeping most of the time. And then on top of the no AC, there was no Wi-Fi. I always had to upload at either McDonald's or Starbucks. And when it comes to uploading videos and putting them online, I would have to sit there for hours for them to upload because McDonald's and Starbucks, they don't have high speed internet. They have okay Wi-Fi, but it's not high speed internet. So I legit just had to sit there forever and wait. But yeah, the summer ended and then I moved in with my girlfriend and began to pay one rent. It was cut in half because my girlfriend covered half of it. And my rent now is lower than it has ever been before. So so that's a serious blessing right there. But yeah, I, I come back to school. I'm a nutrition major now. I, I, I forgot to mention that, but at this point I'm a nutrition major. I'm taking 18 hours a semester. I'm working 40 hours a week and starting to pay off some of my credit card debt. Not fully paid off, but it's going well. And I'm finally starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel so this point is august and october i hit 1000 subscribers on youtube so at this point i am just that much closer to being monetized and gaining a new source of income so and throughout this time looking back i had worked almost a whole year for free on youtube just to get where i was at the plan was to work for two years regardless but just putting out content building the channel and learning so much and it's truly been so great i've truly enjoyed every step of the way. Looking back on all those things that I thought were struggles and seeing where I am now, it, it definitely makes me feel so good inside just to know that I kept going. But yeah, October I hit 1000 subscribers 
And then on November 27th, I finally got monetized. And on that first day, I made $2.50. And I was just so happy. I felt like I made it. I gained a source of semi-passive income. But it's not fully passive because I still have to upload new videos and stuff. But this is truly something I enjoy doing. And it, it's just nice. So yeah, monetized on November 27th. And then December, I hit that minimum $100 threshold that you have to hit in order to get your paycheck. December 2019 was the end of the most difficult year financially I have ever had in my entire life. I would say that's the most difficult year of my entire life to this point. 2020, whole nother story, but 2019, it really beat me down and it was definitely something it was it was definitely something something to go to dropped out of nursing school uh went thousands of dollars of credit card debt i really dropped my credit score yeah also i got i got real big on building my credit score so got my credit score built up now learned how to rotate credit and move that credit to places where it's not hurting my credit score and where it's not i don't have that credit interest building up yeah i'd have to say that overall things are going a lot better this year than last year only been monetized three months but each month is getting higher and higher and i went from working 40 hours a week at walmart to working eight hours every two weeks at walmart i still took a slight hit on my income cutting the hours back for walmart but i did this because i have to do an internship this semester and i have to do 300 hours with that internship in order to graduate i also wanted to give myself more time to put into this channel into the growth and to really just learn and grow my channel and learn more about option strategies uh, teach more option strategy and to have more time to connect with y'all because in the long run I already have to do it enough in my classes school right now. It's like I'm basically paying to work for other people I, I don't enjoy that as of right whenever I graduate. I don't plan on working a job I've been working hard so that I have the option But as of the way it's going right now I really can't see myself working for anyone else so unless it's some type of freelance job because every job I've ever worked. Oh, it's, it seemed like slavery. I don't enjoy having people tell me what to do. I just want to be free. So really that's where I'm at right now. I'm trying to spend as much of my time as I can reading and putting out content and getting back to y'all on social media and all that and helping as much of y'all grow as possible as well as helping myself because I still have a lot of growing to do. Uh, that's, that's it for the video. If you relate to any of this, please let me know down below in the comments. I really love finding people who I can relate to. To those of you who have made it this far, thank you so much for watching and peace.